Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on how to change an English electrical plug. We will take you through a step-by-step -step procedure for wiring the plug. Here on the left we have an English plug and on the right we have our European plug. I'll explain the differences as we go through the video and please visit the website if you wish to wire up a European plug as we have a video on the site for that. Most new plugs come with a wiring diagram. Here the earth is at the top, the neutral is to the left and the live is to the right. Now we'll just take this plug apart. And here you can see the terminals, which uh, hold the wires in place with a screw. And all English plugs are fused. Some electrical appliances like radios do not have an earth wire, but most appliances do. But do check the manual first. And the earth wire which I'm showing you here, the copper part fits inside this terminal. And I'll show you how to correctly strip the wire now. Carefully removing the outer core of the wire without cutting the inner cables. And after you've separated it, do inspect that you have not damaged any of the inner cables. If you have, I suggest you shorten the lead and do it again. Now you need to work out your distances. Normally the earth wire is the longest followed by the blue and the shortest wire that you will cut is the brown which is the live. Wiring an appliance or an electrical item to a plug you need to uh, check the fuse ratings firstly and secondly make sure you're using adequate sized wire uh, for example you'd want to be using uh, at least 1.5 for something like a kettle uh, going up to 2.5 uh, but do consult the manuals for this and the appliances will be fused to certain ratings. Now the European system is different because the earth wire is the same but it doesn't matter t which side the neutral and the live go on a European plug as they can go into the sockets either way. Now I've cut all the wires I'm just inserting the live first And remember, if in any doubt whatsoever, please consult uh, someone competent with electrics to help you do this job. It's one of the most simple jobs on uh, appliances. But I do know there's a lot of people out there that do need help uh, doing little jobs like this. At our website, we have detailed information on all appliance repairs, electrical, plumbing, DIY. And we're always happy to help if you uh, request a video to be made. Just doing up the last earth wire now and making sure that all the wires sit neatly in the track. This stops the cap when going on, pinching any wires and possibly creating a short. This retention clip that I'm doing up now is designed basically if you were using a hoover for example and pulled the cable too much rather than it pulling on the electrical connections it pulls on the socket itself uh, therefore pulling the plug out of the socket and not damaging the wiring inside. On the website is a contact us form uh, where we'll quite happily take any suggestions for new videos that you would like made, but we are not able to answer specific individual questions. Um, we just get too many, I'm sorry. Now, as you see, just before I did the screw up here, the lid of the uh, plug fitted nicely straight on top that meant there was no wires catching the plastic and there you go 
from all of us at How to Repair. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. And remember, there's plenty more videos at the website. So do share us with your friends, either on Facebook or YouTube, to someone that might need help with an electrical appliance or DIY. Thanks for watching.